trigger warning. Yes, again, right at the start of another video. If you so far from or with FDM this far, you should turn the video over again. This is basically, again, all about some stuff that may make your dysphoria very unsettled. Okay, you have been warned. So, in my last video, I talked about packers and STBs, and I know I said this one was going to be all about packers again, but that would have been incredibly boring. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so, this one's going to be about all about those bongos, those melons. Tits, okay, we're talking about boobs, not just boobs in particular, but binding. So, binding, what is it? I hear someone ask. Well, allow me to tell you, small person, you might not be small. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, but anyway, bind is basically tying your chest down to give the illusion of having no breasts at all and giving you a more masculine appearance, and it can be done. In different ways, for example, the best way, in my opinion, and in the major, in the opinion of the majority of medical professionals, is to use an actual proper binder that you wear. And here is my trusty phone to show you. Whoops! To show all of you beautiful people at home and wherever you're watching this a picture of a binder. Which actually I'll do at the end because I have to find the right pictures which aren't actually on this site. Uh, which is my dear viewers and friends, transguys.com. Yes, these people are amazing. They tell you anything you need to know. The site, I love it. I love it. And like they, they, they give you all the information you need to know if you're trans. And for like FTM people like myself, so. Shout out to you guys, transguys.com because yeah, they are awesome. Like they tell you, they give you packet prices for packers, SCPs, binders, anything you need to know if you're trans, anything you need if you're transitioning. So okay, first, I'm gonna tell you some tips on binding. Now this won't be a good video if there wasn't anything on safety because binders can damage you if used improperly and I mean very serious people. I once home binded and used the wrong type of tape which I have with me to show you guys. This bad boy. And I know that might look stupid, yeah but it's dirty. Found it. And I used it. And let me tell you, I will not be using it again because you can see the where the last time I used it, I just wrapped it around, 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 and then I just ripped it off, pushed it down. Didn't even work that well, to be fair, but I didn't know that the longer this stuff stays on in one place, like the longer if I did that and put it over that, the longer it's on something, the more it binds with whatever it's on. Which in my case was my skin, and I had to have hot water poured on it. I had to have hot water poured on it which, to loosen up the stuff because we found the box luckily to loosen up the stuff and then I had to have it ripped off because that's literally the only way that it will come unstuck and I'd show you but my camera I know my camera won't pick it up but it nearly scarred me and it literally like ripped some of my skin off like all down here where I binded actually can I show you I don't think I'm going to be able to do it without lifting my shirt up will it pick it up oh uh, you can only just barely see it just along there you can literally only just see it I don't even know if you really can but I have like little oh there's a bit there all along here flash to my chest guys but um it, luckily it's nearly all healed now but it rips all my skin off all the way up there all the way up there just under here now most of it most of it's healed now but it's just that bit there and a bit on my back just along there well it's actually on this one but just along here it's still healing but like I know this stuff can be dangerous so like I know this stuff can be dangerous so let's go through this stuff first so that the safety stuff so you guys know so most importantly when someone buys no matter what they use they should never make it feel as though you can't breathe or make it feel as though you're going to pass out because that's dangerous obviously and not worth tying your sits down for. Next, 
always know whether or not what you're binding with is safe because if you're home it's like if you're home binding like you know if it's not safe you'll have an experience like mine and you'll rip your skin off and it could end up being a hospital job especially if it takes too much off and you're bleeding and all that so always be careful and buying safely okay like with all that safety stuff out of the way let's talk about how to bind now, i haven't got a binder anymore because obviously i'm getting top surgery and i'm saving up for that i'm not trying to i'm, I'm not trying to pass until i get that done so i gave mine away or else i would show you how to do it um because like that that'd be easier basically instead of talking for it all i can just show you what to do and all that but firstly binders aren't always comfy and fat they rarely are com that all, like completely comfortable so to make a binder a little better and to stop binder moving around as much as like stop it much around as, as like stop it moving around as much you know getting all up in there some people wear off and wear like a light shirt underneath this is so like the binder isn't in direct contact with your skin so it doesn't rub against you as much and all that also like your shirt can stop it moving around you know generally stop it making a mess of your chest when you're wearing it and so how you put the binder on is what you're meant to do is you're meant to put it you can either put it on and then the arms down or like most people turn it inside out put it up move their boots aside put it like this is shall I tell, I'll tell you how I did it basically I pulled mine over the top of my head inside out and then I've got one arm through like that and then the other arm through and then I'd tug it up like not not literally like rip it up but um so I'd, I'd put one arm through one arm, one arm through but not so it was up like that so the arms were still hanging off and it wasn't completely over and then I'd push this bit to the side and then I would just cut my nail on my knuckle I'd pull that bit up and then I'd put me and to pull that up but that bit up and then I'd like lift it over and then just just sort it all out so you know that's how that's how I did it tell me how you did it in the comments below if you want so you know okay so next depending on the size of your chest you might need to like lay your clothing over it to get the best binder flattening like the best chest flattening and easy if you have big tits like mine you need more shit on so it don't stick out god I'm so blunt <laughs> but uh so yeah so some you know so say if you got your binder on and your chest still doesn't look completely flat some people like put a baggy put a top, another tight top on so they wear the light light clothing to stop it moving about and then they put the binder on and then they wear another tight top over just to make sure it's pressed down and then they wear a baggy shirt on top that's the suggested way if you have like i think it's over a d cup or a c cup or something like that you know you know just if you have big boobs anyway so like if some binders you can swim in in case you're going to, like if you want to go swimming so if you're going swimming and you don't want your boobs showing if you're like dysphoric you cover your chest and stuff so some binders you can go swimming in i think actually it's the majority of binders you can go swimming in don't worry if your binder seems looser after or less effective don't worry this isn't permanent in fact i don't think it ever is really that permanent unless you've been swimming for hours and hours and hours and you've ruined the material in which case good on you bro you're gonna buy a new binder so uh yeah that's just that's just basically when you were swimming it feels loose that's just the material it's wet and it's weighed down so it's stretch it's almost guaranteed that after a wash and a dry it'll go back to normal also with your binder if you look down when wearing a binder and your chest looks bigger don't worry about it that's just all just like skin that's been pushed to the side with it like so if you want so if you look in a mirror and your chest looks bigger like you know just you'll get a more if you look in the mirror you, you'll get a more accurate side view so side angle and you can just readjust if it still seems dodger okay so last bit of this little how to is that not all binders really look breathe that well or let cold air in so in reality you're probably gonna get hot in it because the heat isn't getting out and it isn't like it's getting trapped inside the binder and the colder air can't get in so you're probably gonna sweat and if you're on tea that says salsa and for you new folk you're definitely gonna sweat like a bitch so be careful uh, because build up a sweat is gonna really irritate your skin and cause rashes and sores like especially <coughs> sorry especially if your binder is directly on skin, skin as well and that's this is just this is gonna hurt especially after long periods of times and if your binder is really tight 
so wear like thin cotton shirt so wear a thin cotton shirt underneath or something that just breathes really well under the binder because that's going to let more hot air out and some cold air in and really pre really help prevent sores and keep you cool and if you and if you really sweat or are still getting some sores and rashes try try like applying some cornstarch to your binder like to your binder and underneath everything because like when you apply it to a packer like you know when you apply it to a packer and it stops the moisture so it feels more like skin because when you get packer it can be really sticky like like when you're sweating your skin gets really sticky this helps like you close your binder this stops you like you close your binder and your body from keeping and holding moisture all of this together should like well, what I've told you so far should help prevent sores though if you're still getting them after all this I suggest you wear a loose binder because sometimes you can get sores and rashes from wearing a binder that's too tight even if you wear a lot loose clothes underneath it can just be because of how tight your binder is so in conclusion of all this is that although like after hearing all this binder seem, binders like seem so cumbersome and too much trouble and time consuming and really a waste but for like FTMs and transgender people it's like a way to free themselves free yourselves by binding that sounds stupid but for them like the transgender people like the reason I did that little uh, bit by the way is because when I was talking about binding on tumblr a while ago I don't have tumblr anymore but um if you want me to get a tumblr just tell me I'll open a tumblr I don't mind but um, when I was talking on tumblr about it before some people were saying but binding stupid all that like why make like trapping yourself how is that really freeing yourself but like well for them it's like making a part of their body that isn't really them like like making a part of their biological gender which would be boobs like disappear because that's not their gender I don't understand that's what they need that all the info in this video can be used for home for, for home binding and using tape which is like I really don't recommend but if you can't afford a new binder I'll leave a link in the description box below to some sites that sell new and second hand binders as far as I know anyway so like I promised you earlier guys here's a picture of a binder and someone binding it isn't a brilliant picture I'm going to be honest with you but this is so I've got a bit of skin this is a boob tube binder which doesn't have arms and you get it has velcro so you put it on and you just get someone to velcro it or you velcro it at the front and twist it around so if you folks that is a tube binder and as you can see it's one of the velcro ones and it's sorry it's because my laptop's here um but yeah and I was going to show you a picture of a home binder and I couldn't find one, I could only find videos and I couldn't like you know it's just cumbersome just trying to go through the video until you get a good picture and I watched two videos all the way through which were about 20, min 20 minutes each and couldn't find a good view of a, of a binder but yeah like that was just an ordinary buy that I think like an ordinary binder that I think you can buy like everywhere so you go take a look but um remember guys if you want to bind bind properly that's all i can suggest buy a proper binder and if you can't afford a proper binder go in the look in the description box below there's a place called big brothers second hand binders or something i'll link it i think i'll put about five sites under there yeah but and i do not recommend home binding because most people they just get wet wipes and dry them out put them around and then just use tape that is so dangerous guys like be careful it's 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 infinitely more paper, painful if it goes wrong yeah but uh, yeah don't 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 quote me on this <laughs> the binders where you can get binders because I was given my binder by a friend the friend that I mentioned in the last video who I love very much for that <laughs> but yeah if you have any questions as always Cool, so yeah if you have like pff, any questions or anything like that as always leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you want me to cover anything or if you have any ideas hints tips tricks and so on and so forth always also like 
leave them and if you're an FTM clams or anything else or even if you simply liked or enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it'll always be appreciated and subscribe if you want more of this and I will see you in my next video which will probably be on I forgot I had it all written down and I forgot what I was going to leave it on I forgot what I was going to do my video on. It'll be a surprise for you then, because it's going to be a surprise for me when I remember. But I'll see you guys in my next video. But as always, enjoy yourselves, be safe, and yeah, share this video if you liked it. Yeah, but anyway, better go now. Bye.